Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kutu Loops. All right, so in the last episode, we managed to take the settlement of Kofor, um, which is a part of the coast of, uh, Arabi? Arabi? <laughs> Anyways, um, we're still, we're having a little bit of difficulty stomping out the Knights of the Flame. Um, obviously not related to the Knights of the Sun from both Dark Souls as well as our, uh, you know, Seeky to Zunis campaign. Um, spread public order. Let's have you train some more dudes and shit. Yeah, that'd be nice. Mostly because I think uh, little bits of their um, army have been surviving. And we've kind of just been letting them go. Should we maybe do some more recruitments? Not from this region, I don't think. Considering that we can only do uh, skeletons and shit. Let's go after Aaron Paravon. Kick his teeth in. Joined by reinforcements in battle, my lord. Should you decide to fight? You know what? Considering how much we overpower them, let's just auto resolve this. He lost one dude. That's embarrassing of that one dude. Ah oh, shit, everyone else survived. Now the entire army has to just stay here and then do like this very awkward and embarrassing uh, funeral for that one dude who died. Here lies, uh, Timmy, um, we don't know how he died, but I've heard reports that, uh, maybe he just kind of tripped, uh, as he was running towards the enemy and he, uh, kind of, like, shattered his, uh, face bone against a rock or something. I'm not quite sure, but, uh, don't, don't tell his wife that. Don't tell his kids that. We don't want them to, uh, grow up thinking that their, their dad was a little bit of a bitch. He just kind of, uh, died because he smashed his rock against a face. Or I guess the other way around. I'm sorry. I, uh, I, my heart's not really in this uh, funeral right now. Fantastic. Man's ruin. Kill them. Kill them all. Etc. Etc. So wait, what is this? Oh, we got a trait. Oh, plus five uh, leadership when fighting against men. And we managed to succeed with this quest. Fantastic. Sweet. Knights of the Flame. Dead as shit. And we also succeeded with this mission. Nice. A little bit of an extra cash injection. Aaron Paravon is dead. Let's disembowel him. Thank you very much. And now we can make our way to the other Bretonians, but we are not currently at war with them. Kind of wondering if maybe it might be a good idea to go up against... Not the Camry, but the Greybeard's Prospects. Hmm. The balance of power is still... Is slightly... Ever so slightly in our favor, but... Not by much. Do you know who I am? Then again, I think... Thegan's Errantry might not be a bad idea either. I think it might be a good idea for us to get us another Lord. We can't. Because we don't have enough dynasties. Cool. Holy shit, look at that Jay Leno chin. My god. You can probably stab people like, with it. Just like Jay Leno. Ark in the Black, we can um, upgrade him. Uh, Ancient Tyrant? No. A Conqueror? I do wonder if Necro Strike. Um, this is just the beginning when the great necromancer returns, all around will be laid waste. Nice. Plus 75% weapon damage can cause terror. Wow, wow, wee wow. That sounds awesome. Maybe this isn't such a bad idea. Maybe with Gold Conqueror. Although, what does that do? Oh, I see. Okay, well, um... We could go with more Canopic Jars, but I think... Let's go with Conqueror. Try to boost him up some more. Make him a support force to be reckoned with. Why can't we... Oh, available at rank 5. Oh, I get it. Okay, okay. Well, I suppose we should... Um, probably upgrade Spirit Leech. I think that's going to be the main focus of our Lich Priest here. In the meantime, 
If we're not going to be attacking these guys, maybe we should make our way down south towards the Elven Ruins. Sudenberg. How strong are these guys? Pretty weak. Pretty, pretty weak. And they only have two provinces. Okay, okay. Maybe they should be our next target instead of these guys. Though, since we already have Kofor, I would like to... Um... You know, take the rest of this province. But that has three, and Sudenberg are fairly weak. Hmm. Where exactly are they? Do we know? Do we know where the enemy is? We can't see them. We can only see Sudenberg, which is their capital. Well, um, I think what we could do is we can actually swing down over to the Sweet Chariot. Um i.e. towards the elven ruins. And then while we're doing that, we can also gain some more troops as we make our way down south. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Let's do that instead. Instead of uh, continuing up north here. Get some more troops, um, beef up our army some more, and then we'll um, go back in to attack these guys up here. Meantime, the public order is going down. Not great. Public order here is going up, though, which is awesome. I think we should probably try to build more military buildings. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards, considering that we have a lot of money. Uh, we can get some skeleton chariots, or we can get some uh, horsemen. But let's not build the horsemen thing here, because that needs to be built in the capital. So let's go ahead with the bone shaper line, because I think we can bring this up to level... Level 5? Oh no, that's level 3. Okay, well, then we'll go with the Bone Shaper, s'il vous plaît. Thank you. Okay, we gotta make sure that to take these guys out of, um, March Stance, at least for a little bit, while we, uh, recruit some dudes. But I think it's gonna be a little while, a few turns before we can recruit some new dudes. Can be useful in such uncertain times. You mean like this thing? Is that what you're talking about? Because I'm well aware. Thank you very much. I may be a um, village idiot, but I'm not a noob. I mean, I'm both a village idiot and a noob, but whatever, it's fine. Oh, look at that. This guy's actually picked up some uh, lines from uh, Manfred von Karstein over here. Saying, Dance Macabre. These undead guys really love to dance, don't they? I think that's about all they ha all we have to do in this turn, so let's just go ahead and let everyone else have their gander. I wonder if there's a lot of vampire dudes that we can ally with. Wait, wait, what was that? Dwarf, my lord. These runts rarely emerge from under their mountains. Don't be fooled by their stunted height. They are hardy, stubborn creatures and are not to be underestimated in battle. Ugh. I hate dwarves. Not as much as I hate elves, though. So that's gotta be said. Um... So if we continue on with our march stance, unfortunately we're gonna be out of range of uh, recruiting dudes. So let's just get to the end here. Oh look, it's raining! Guys, it's raining! <gasps> we can get ourselves a chariot. Nice, that sounds pretty awesome. I get the feeling that the Chariot might be a better alternative to the Dire Wolves that we keep losing. But then again, the Dire Wolves are meant to be, um, uh, well, um, what's the word? Expendable, right? And I think Crypt Ghouls are fairly useful, too. Let's get ourselves ch uh, Scale and Chariots and some Crypt Ghouls. And I think that's good for the time being. And looks like our dynasty is about to be, uh, um, unlocked? Researched? Discovered? I don't know what you would do with the dynasty besides maybe discover them. Maybe we have the ancient form of Ancestry.com or something, and then we send in like a stone tablet and chisel with our bone marrow or blood on it, and then they trace it back somehow. I don't know. We researched a dynasty technology. Okay. 
a humble suggestion, your eternal majesty, set lich beasts other than yourself, to uncovering this lost secret. I'm talking right now. I'm talking. To uncovering the lost secrets of the dynasties, such endeavors may grant you even greater power in the discovery of lost legions. Heroes of the ancient dynasties may be awakened if you desire it, my lord. Once resurrected, such warriors may be of assistance to your cause. Sweet! And that unfortunately reduces our research rate. Our research rate is already terrible. Oh, what? It only takes one? Nice! Alright, well, let's go with the Proclamation of the First Dynasty. Um, increasing our campaign movement range. And also increasing trade income. Nice. That sounds pretty awesome. And we get to increase hero capacity for Tomb Princes. Awesome. Very cool. And then afterwards, we'll get Wakaf of the First Dynasty. Trust the sun. Right. Research a dynasty technology that permits recruitment of a hero. Okay, and we can also upgrade our um, chariots to Brassworks now. Nice. Lord has not moved. Uh, Nehekaran warriors. Wow, wow, we wow. Well, considering uh, this new development, I'm thinking we should probably disband a couple of our skeleton warriors and instead get the Nehekaran warriors. That sounds good. -um. I don't know what these guys are. They kind of look like they're dual wielding uh, dudes, which sounds pretty awesome. I kind of wonder if uh, there's going to be a lot of turtling with the Tomb Princes. Maybe a little bit, though I don't think there's going to be as much. These guys want me to pay for a non-aggression pact. Um, hmm. I'm kind of tempted to say no, but I am unfortunately going to leave my area here a little undefended. So let's just accept for the time being. Because they don't want them to uh, blast me in the ass unexpectedly. Proclamation of the First Dynasty, fantastic. Disappeared. Kofer, the populace in one of your settlements is gradually vanishing. On certain nights, whole ghettos or districts are left abandoned. The only clue for the remaining denizens is a triangular symbol daubed on a nearby gate or wall. Why is this happening? I'm assuming it's just a uh, random event. Okay. Can we now recruit a lord? We can. We can get ourselves some tomb kings. Scavenger, um, which increases magic item drop chance. Etc. Etc. Strategist and wrathful. Bonus versus infantry. Hatip. That sounds pretty cool. But what is this thing? Wakaf of the First Dynasty. Adds a tomb king Wakaf to your faction's lord pool. I feel like we should go with this. That sounds pretty awesome. Can we do multiple? <gasps> oh wait, no, we can't do multiple things at once. Never mind. I thought we could. But clearly, I was wrong. Um, And then we can also increase the... Oh. Yeah, let's try to get Wakaf of the First Dynasty. He can be our lord. Of course, um, we will be naming... Um, Lords that we can rename. Apparently he became an organ collector. Uh, we will be uh, renaming lords that we can rename after um, people. So if you guys want your names in uh, as uh, lords and uh, ladies of our armies, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to accommodate. Um, I already have a pool of names that I'm uh, uh, thinking of drawing from. But for now, anyways, let's continue on and upgrade our thing to a mausoleum. Super fantastic. And now, um, Ark in the Black. Once we upgrade this dude. They need to prove themselves. Training. Yeah, let's go with that. We're going to move on towards the Elven Ruins. We're not going to be taking attrition here, are we? It's all desert lands. So you're going to be fine. Ah, that's their other settlement. Well, I don't think they're super powerful. So I don't think we need to worry too much about um, 
holding back on them. Although, um... I think I just realized that as the Tomb Kings... On expenditure must be maintained for your domain to oh, prosper. really? Is that how money works? Thank you. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of our Nehekarian warrior stuff. I'd say let's go with first dynasty plans. That sounds good. And now we can recruit ourselves. Wakaf. Wakaf the first dynasty. Nice. Looking spiffy. Holy shit. Got that Jay Leno chin. I love it. Fantastic. Okay, um... Right. We gave all our bestest dudes to, um... To this guy over here. I think that means that we need to actually build multiples of... Uh... The same building, maybe. I don't know if that's actually a valid strategy or if that's a stupid idea. But, um, that's kind of all I can think of right now. Go ahead, uh, explore the Elven Ruins. We can colonize it by spending money and a shit ton of troops. Or we can do a treasure hunt. Um, can we do a treasure hunt and then colonize? Let's try it. Whilst scouting the outskirts of a nearly, sorry, recently ruined settlement, you notice on the edge of town a small secluded graveyard. The graves look remarkably fl uh, fresh, considering that the whole place was abandoned in a in rather, in rather a hurry. Let's magically search the graves. We got ourselves a sword of might. Fantastic. Hey man, uh, do you want a sword of might? Eternally. I totally didn't just dig this thing up from, uh, from wherever we are just now. No, it, I, I, I bought this for you. I thought, it, I saw it in the market, and I thought of you, and I bought it for you. Now can we colonize? Not in the same turn. Alright, fine, the next turn then. Fine. If you're gonna be picky, Arkham the Black, I guess we'll let you wait another turn before we do this. What is this? I think that's the mysterious island or whatever. Probably where uh, Robinson Crusoe ended up. I know how that works. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and colonize this. Fantastic. Got ourselves an elven ruin. Really? It's going to be called the elven ruins? Tiny occupied elven colony. Wait. Do we have to keep elves here? Can we not throw them out into the river, drown them or something, and fucking kill them? I don't want elves with us. Guys, please. Oh, skeleton archer chariots. Wow, wow, we wow. Well, let's load ourselves up here with some shitty troops until we can build some more, better ones. Chaos corruption from the beast men. We still need to clear out their uh, feces and all that shit. Because feces spread diseases. And Hakaros, let us upgrade your spirit leech to the nextest level. Fantastic. We're gonna wait for this army to replenish a little bit before we move on. Um, I'm not too confident about these guys' ability to uh, take on this settlement, especially since it's a siege with the depleted numbers here. Oh shit. You've got quite the stack here. We might actually need to overwhelm them with numbers and shit, which I guess is doable. Alright then, um... Sudenberg, what are you gonna do? You are going to bugger off into uh, regions unknown. Fantastic, good for you. Are you gonna, guys gonna go off to Plain of Tuskers? Please don't. Judas Priest. Um, like the band? Lich Priest should only live to serve the king's undying will. Betrayal should be an anathema to their order. Yet one, of, one among their number has betrayed us uh, by conspiring with a rival Tomb King to um, book Judas Priest for their own gig instead of uh, booking it for our uh, birthday. How should we uh, proceed? So we can bury him. Hero action costs 40%. Lich Priest ignored. Enemy hero action success. Let's just ignore him. Let him talk. Allow him his intrigue and scheming. 
Or, you know what? Considering that we're not really going to be doing um, hero actions as much, I don't think. Let's just bury him. Fantastic. How dare you book Judas Priest in, uh, for their team instead of us, you asshole. Unbelievable. Right. Wakaf. I'll have you recruit the Skeleton Archer Chariots, the Crypt Ghouls, Your recruitment and the Dire Wolves. Maximum capacity, my lord. Training of additional recruits will begin as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. I got it. Cool. Thanks. All right. That's good for now. All right. Just you wait, El Kalabad. We're coming in hot and heavy for you guys. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. And these guys also want a non-aggression pact. Absolutely not. No, no, no. We're going to be coming in hot and heavy for you guys soon. Although, I think I just saw something that was a little disconcerting. Uh-oh. Hmm. Seems like the other Tomb Kings are kind of making a gambit for this. Which, admittedly, isn't good for us. Hmm. We might need to turn our attention uh, up north sooner than I had anticipated. And apparently we had a mission to build a mausoleum that I was unaware of. Winds of magic blow across the land, my lord. Yep. Thanks. Got first dynasty plans. Let's go with, I think, um, runic inscriptions? Sure, why not? Let's do that. Fantastic. And we can upgrade something here. We can get ourselves some hex wraiths for a shit ton of money. Oh, Nehekaran Citadel. Okay, interesting. Or Royal Burial Chamber. Ah. The income generated from the uh, these things aren't really much, are they? Very little, but then again, I suppose the Tomb Kings don't need as much income as anyone else. Oh, wow, wow, wee wow. Yes, we can finally make monster units. Sounds awesome as shit. Okay, so I'm assuming eventually we're going to be able to unlock these two as well. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the... Statutary of Kemri. So that we can make some... Ushtabi. Ush, ush. Ushabti. I don't know why I read Ushab, Ushtabi. I think I just want to say Stabby. Alright. Can we get into range to be able to see these guys first? Also, let's build the uh, port here. Our provincial uh, order is fine. Hmm. How strong are they? Not strong at all. I think they just lost their army. I think they sent them down here and then they just got completely uh, blasted in the ass. Which is awesome for us, because now we can blast these guys in the ass in turn. Declare war. That's right. Eat shit. Andreas Leonard Leonardus. Can't even be uh, Leonidas. He's just Leonardus. What a derp. What a stupid derp. You done gone lost your troops, you stupid derp. What's happening with my derpy ass cape right now? Holy shit. Jurgen van Preistoff, or whatever your name is. What are you gonna do? What do you think you can accomplish here? Approaches. Beware of such rogue armies, my lord. What the they fuck? Must not be allowed to threaten your realm. Oh shit. Do not tolerate their incursions on your soil. What? Rogue armies are warbands of desperate outlaws and are often comprised of unusual combinations of troops. Rogue armies will appear from time to time and will eventually seek to establish a permanent presence on the campaign map by colonizing a ruin or assaulting an occupied settlement. Shit burglar. Raid the lands of the enemy, mighty lord. Send your warriors out to slaughter the peasants and burn their villages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't May worry. I'll burn some uh, peasants and slaughter uh, their fields. Don't worry about it. I got this, man. I got this. I don't got this. I just said that to uh, get him to shut the fuck up and GTF on my screen. Alright, let's do this. The enemy city is fortified, my lord. 
weapons will be oh, needed no. to bring down the walls. Prepare your warriors for a long siege. Oh no. I said oh no. Listen. I said oh no. Ah oh, shit. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is a little concerning. I didn't expect as many dudes as I um as they have. Maybe we should come back with some more dudes of our own. But here, let's at least get this going. It's gonna take a few turns, but that's okay. If these guys attack us, maybe we can actually fight them in the open field where it'd be advantageous to us. But I think right now the plan is to build this guy's army up and then have them come in to help us out. Kofor is really starting to deteriorate in terms of its uh, public order, which is not entirely unexpected. Right, pirate dudes? Y'all better stay away. Better not try to uh, attack me or nothing. I got my eye on you. Sudenberg is... buggering off. Fantastic. And so is this guy. Also buggering, buggering off. Jürgen von Preistberg. Or whatever. Heistoff. Oh shit, they're coming in hot and heavy, aren't they? Okay. Maybe not. Splendid structures. The cities of Nehekara are without compare in their scale and grandeur. However, time ravages stone just the same as flesh, and now our buildings are badly in need of restoration. Upon which of them should be focused our endeavors? Uh, rebuild our armies, or settlements restored? Let's go with, I think, rebuild our armies. I think we're going to be spending the majority of our money on the that. Enemy raid your lands and slaughter your denizens. Take them. I don't know what denizens Natural they have to slaughter, but... Abundant in this place, my lord. Capture it. Thanks. Okay. Apparently, uh, meteors are raining down from the skies and hitting our skeletons. While um, skeletons that are obviously uh, doing uh, involved in spin class. This is like the classic uh, pose that uh, you see someone in like spin class doing um, when they're riding a bicycle, and there's some really tough but like caring instructor at the very front screaming at them, tell them to move faster and all that shit. And this is like their headband, anyways. Um, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't know if I'm confident enough to attack uh, El Kalabad, even if we have the siege equipment. Maybe we should come back later. And I'm also worried about this action right here, Bruno Nagia. That's great, buddy. That's great. Um, let's go ahead and. Get the rat last of the dire wolves. Get some more fell bats. And I'm thinking of actually moving these guys back, uh, moving these guys out, and then dealing with this, and then coming back with uh, Wakaf in tow to help us out here. At least with the numbers and all that shit. Might not be a bad idea. Or maybe the uh, balance of power is crap because we don't have uh, siege equipment. But that being said, not super confident in our abilities to attack these guys. Alright, let's break the siege. It's fine. I made I made an executive decision. And let's have these guys... Wait. Entombed beneath the sands. What is this? Buried amongst the desert sands, the Tomb King's guardians lie in wait for their prey whilst also replenishing their own numbers. Um... We can't move, we're immune to attrition. We have Vanguard Deployment, and we have Sand Veil. Whoa! So that's different from Ambush, I guess? Oh, I see. That's really cool. Holy shit. Alright, well, uh, March stands for now because we need to book it towards the uh, Wizard's Khalifa uh, Palace. Elven Runes, you guys are on your own for the time being. I'm just gonna get to Arkham the Black back to our uh, camp. And Kofor, I suppose you can upgrade to him, um, Mastaba. Sure, we might actually need to build something there that offsets the public order negative that we're seeing right now. Which isn't ideal, but it is what it is. Alright. 
You guys better not um, make a gambit towards our wizard's, wizard's Caliph Palace. Oh shit. Okay. Um. Crap. Well, I guess they weren't lying about the uh, initial challenge of this campaign, particular campaign being tough or difficult. Oh, nope, they're, they're moving towards us. And it seems like Vegan's errantry has been destroyed. Shit. Uh, this could be a little tough. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen this campaign. I thought it would be okay, but it appears that the other Tomb Kings are really just trying to bugger us all. Crap. Alright, well, let's attack these guys for sure. If we attack them, will Wakaf be able to intercede? I think so. From this distance, at least, he should be able to. Alright, well, let's leave this off here for now and continue this tomorrow, where hopefully we'll be able to push back on some of the tomb other Tomb Kings. Although, how powerful are they in comparison to us? Not as powerful, but... Hmm. I, I think we might need to just overwhelm them with our numbers right now. That might be the way to uh, push them back. And then we can actually just take these back from these dudes. Or, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.